Dan Gray for MPGomatic.com, and I'm here with Pat from Pat's Garage and Green Gears in San Francisco, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what it's like to convert your Prius to a plug-in. Well, it's a pretty easy process, really. It starts by the average individual who's really hungry for one of these things, heading off to the High Motion website and going online, putting a deposit down getting in the queue. So it, it takes a little while for the kids to come in. Is there a, there's a waiting line? There is a, there's a waiting list right now. We're sold out through the end of November, beginning of December at this point. So um, I don't anticipate that's going to go much beyond the end of this year, though. They're ramping up production in Boston right now. We should have, we're doing hundreds this year. We'll probably be into the thousands next year. So you put your order in. They tell me when it's going to show up. I give you a call. You show up down at Pat's Garage, drop your car off. Even though they say it takes three to four hours, in reality, it's more like you leave me the car for the day because quality control on this is absolutely critical. So it takes about four to five hours to do the actual install, and I like to take the car through. I've got a, a certain drive cycle path that I take it through up and down the hills of San Francisco, out on the freeway. Um, and You do the bullet thing, right? We do the bullet thing. We do the bullet thing. We come up over, up over, <laughs> over by the Fairmont and do the jump for it. We test your suspension as well as everything else. So. It, 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 takes a, it takes a good half of day of driving through certain cycles, draining the packs, then I like to charge them back up, so make, make sure that we've got a, a discharge and charge cycle that works. But I can walk you through some of the process of, of what we actually do, which is, it's, it's, it's a relatively easy thing. The beauty of this unit is that it, it does only minor changes to the Prius. We don't hack the software, we don't rip things out. The only thing that really gets taken out of the car is the spare tire. So you've got a, se a section here in the back where we lift all of the spare tire, all of that out. We pull some panels apart. We run a wiring harness up to the front. First of all, we put in our, our lineman's rubber gloves to protect us from the high voltage. Disconnect everything, shut it down with a voltmeter. We make sure there's no residual electricity there that can harm anything. Then we run our wiring harness. We solder and make some connections, connect to the computer up front. Then we take our big battery pack, drop it in the back of the car, Start hooking wires up, put in the final plug again, start it up. It's, it's a pretty simple process. Um, it, it's a little deceptive because you've got a box here that's all closed in. You can't see how complicated it is. Obviously, the, the, the things that are in this box are extremely complicated. You have a, you have a, a series of lithium phosphate batteries from A123. You have a, um, a battery charger, which is a smart charger. It's very different than the average charger. You have a battery management system to keep control and balance all the batteries that are in there. You have a, a computer, which interfaces with the Toyota computer, and, um, and a plug. And, it, and it's all in, all in one it's box? It's all in one box. It's all in one box. On top of that, it's, it's crash tested. It's been, it's been, we've gone through all the, the government crash certification and the emissions certification as well. So by the time it gets to the consumer, you know that you've got a fairly well-tested, safe product. So that's it. One day you bring your car into Pat in the morning. He drops all the gear in, does all the work, doesn't bring out a sawzall, no, but no, he gets no, no sawzall for this. No one. sawzalls no involved. For this one, no. It actually takes very, very few tools to actually do this. Uh, a few hand wrenches and a couple of power tools to, to speed up the process, but it's 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 very simple. It, we we worked with the the original designers of this to simplify the process and make it as plug and play as possible. We don't want a lot of extraneous wires poking out here and there and running everywhere. The idea is to make it as close to the quality that Toyota created the product as possible, and that's what we've done. So we've got a nice clean insulation, as, as clean as, this, as if it were OEM. Absolutely, absolutely. Using the same quality of connectors, everything throughout the whole pack. So it's, uh, it's, a, good, it's a good system. Very cool. Thank you very much. Sure.